meteorologist Sean Sublett for the Tulsa World, and we review the weather situation late Saturday night, early Sunday morning in Tulsa. Of course, widespread damage out there, most of it from straight line winds. This is how the radar appeared just after 1 o'clock in the morning on Sunday with the intense squall line coming through Tulsa and continuing into northeastern Oklahoma all the way into adjacent parts of both Arkansas and Louisiana. Uh, the wind damage, of course, phenomenal. We still have more than 140,000 power outages in greater Tulsa. And this just shows you the tremendous number of storm reports that have been that have actually come into the local National Weather Service office. So that's anywhere from southern Kansas down to Oklahoma City, Dallas, Oklahoma, uh, excuse me, uh, Arkansas, and as well as Missouri. So if we go in more specifically to Tulsa, you can also see in addition <clears throat> to all these downed trees, which are seen by these little icons right here, there's also wind damage or strong wind gusts in excess of 70 miles per hour uh, just to the southwest of town. So, of course, we have all the trees down. We've got all the tree damage to, to contend with as well. Uh, the straight line winds were running 80 to 90 miles per hour, and there were tornadoes. Not so much in Tulsa, but going northeastward from Tulsa, Oogala, uh, Chelsea, as well as Strang, all having EF1 tornadoes uh, very early on Sunday morning. So, as we get look forward a little bit to these next 48 hours as the cleanup continues there's no further threat of thunderstorms there may be something down in Oklahoma City later on this afternoon but I think the bigger story is going to be just the heat as we continue to clean up so to review three tornadoes confirmed northeast of Tulsa still 140,000 power outages it is going to take some time before all the power is restored and take it easy out there today. It is going to be into the low 90s, so hydrate if you're out there getting things done uh, and trying to get everything cleaned up. Again, I'm meteorologist Sean Sublett for the Tulsa World.